Hey there Dev Squad, Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Blueprint tutorial series. Within today's video, we're going to be introducing you to enumeration data inside of Unreal Engine. Now enumeration data is a variable just like any other, it's going to contain information. However, the way that an enum works is that it is going to be containing a list essentially which are going to be organized with numbers being your index. Now these lists are all pre-made so the best way for me to show you and explain what an enum is is to simply go ahead and create one and show you it. So what I'm going to do is start off by adding in a new variable. With this variable we're just going to give this the name test enum. And then under our variable type in the top right hand corner, the way you are going to be able to access an enumeration type is to click this little drop down here and choose one of the pre-made enums. Now with this, the best way to break it down is to show you something simple like eBlend mode. All of these different types of enum are essentially just lists, they're going to have different options in them. In this case, for eBlend mode, you are going to notice that we've got opaque, mask, translucent, additive, and all of that good stuff relating to blend modes. But the point that you want to take away from this is the fact that you are able to have a list here, and you are just going to be choosing one of those values from that list. And that is essentially your enum. Now, if you want to create your own list, it's really simple and really easy to do. What I'm going to do is show you how to create one. To create one, go to your content browser, go to blueprints, and then go to enumeration. And then with this, we're just going to give this the name my test enum. And then if you open this up, it is going to open up the enumeration editor. From here, what we can do, first of all, is give the overall enum a description. So I could give this the description. This is a test description. Now what we need to do is actually add items into our list. So go ahead and press new, and this is gonna add our first item. And what you'll notice with this, it says new enumerator zero. This is index based. And what that means is it is going to be going counting up in numbers and it is also zero based so it's going to be starting from zero so the first entry is going to be zero second entry is going to be one and so on and so forth but for now the only thing you need to worry about is a display name we are going to give this the name Fertus and we could give this a description as well the description doesn't really matter too much it's more just for making it easy to explain what each one of these little entries mean. So description for Virtus is going to be Lord. I'm gonna add another entry, and this is going to be Blitz, and then the description for this is going to be Peasant, and that is it. So now we've got our little list with two entries with different descriptions, and obviously we can set up our code to do different things depending on the value of this enum. So you can make it do one thing if it is equal to Virtus, or you can make it do something else if it is equal to Blitz. Now, if you want to change the index of any of your items within your enum, what you've got to do is just use these two little arrows here. So let's say I want to move Blitz on top of Virtus. Just press a little, uh, little up arrow, and you'll notice here it has now moved up but Blitz is always going to be at the bottom there, so that is it. So let's show you how we can actually use this within our blueprint now. So open up your third person character, go to your test enum, and set this all the way down to my test enum. There we go, and now if we, if we compile this, you are going to notice we are able to change the values here. So now I have the options that I had put in there myself. So we've got the option between Blitz and we've also got the option for Virtus as well. So hopefully you guys can start to see how you would be using enumeration data. If we go ahead and compile this, I'm going to give you a quick preview of how we can actually use 
an enumeration data piece within our code. So let's say we have got a branch and then with this branch, what we could do is check to see whether or not our test enum is equal to whichever options are there. And if it is true, we can fire off one piece of code. If it's false, we can do another. So basically, that is your introduction to enums. There is plenty more you can do with them if you just apply normal programming sort of conditioning to it. But for now, that is everything. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.